Okay, well we just had a recently really cold spell and it's broken all my filters. It snapped the ceramic filter, it broke all the housings. And so I've just ordered all new housings and filters to replace them. And I thought it's an ideal opportunity to show people how I filter the water to make it safe uh, and tasty. Okay, so let's see what we've got in these boxes. Okay, so uh, these boxes, the first box, on my last system I had all separate filters and pipes between them which took up a lot of space and made them quite sort of vulnerable to leaks and things. This, um, I've decided to order them all connected together in one unit, which means less issues with leaks, etc. So these are commonly available on, on the internet, not very expensive. But, uh, and I think for the whole thing there. Um, this gives us three chambers to, to filter with. Um, the, other con the other box was my ceramic filter cartridge which broke in the winter. Now I have the other two filters already which are a uh, activated carbon filter and a paper filter for particles. And I'll run through the different reasons for having the different pieces and what they do. Okay, the three f different types of filters that I use are a particle filter that removes anything down to half a micron, 0.5 a micron. So that goes in one. That's the first stage to take as much of the muck out of the water after the settlement tank. The next stage I use is a activated charcoal filter. And so we've got one left from before when the housing broke. So this is an activated charcoal filter and that removes chemicals um, and non-organic um, material as well. Uh, and the third one is the ceramic filter. And this is the really, really important one as far as all the bugs and bacteria are concerned. This removes 99.9% .9 of all pathogens. So all you nasties that give you upset stomachs and illness, this removes that. Um, now these are, are solid, they last a long time because they're a physical barrier, um, there's no active ingredient as such in it. So when they become sort of mucky with lots of things trapped in them, you just wipe them over with a green scouring pad, the plastic scouring pad for pans, that takes the surface off and allows them to flow again. But I've had them working for years without any need for, for doing that because I've got all this filtration beforehand. So I'm going to assemble this all and then we'll talk through in more detail on what each thing actually does. Okay, so one thing to note is this new ceramic filters come with this clear plastic coating on which must be removed or they won't work obviously. Bear in mind that that will come off. housing of its three units, screw, we have a seal here, so the first one in line, it says on the system that it will have water in and water out, the particle filter in, now they do come with these little plastic things which can hold the filter in the centre whilst just fitting it in. That allows it to locate on the spigot in the top there. And then just screw on. And then they come with this plastic spanner. The slots on and tightened it. So particle filter first. carbon filter second
going. Last one. Between the three of them, they make nice, clean, safe water. 